You're watching Something About Movies, and this is my review for Green Lantern. Alright, so Green Lantern tells the story of how Hal Jordan, played by Ryan Reynolds, becomes a Green Lantern while defending Earth from an evil sewer cloud with fangs named Parallax as he deals with his daddy issues and figures out his feelings for his childhood friend Carol Ferris, played by Blake Lively, and a slew of other subplots. So I left this movie feeling kind of meh about the whole experience, which was pretty disappointing considering I went into it with very low expectations. I thought the 3D was pretty much useless and even hard to look at at the beginning with all the haziness and glowiness going on. I thought oh it looked really neat though and overall it was just a nice movie to look at. I mean, come on, Ryan Reynolds. As far as performances go, it was alright. I thought Peter Sarsgaard as Hector Hammond was really well done. Uh, in fact, the whole subplot of him turning into that freaky telekinetic elephant man was probably my favorite part of the movie. I thought it was just really believable and I kind of felt for the guy. And he just pulled off the role really well and I couldn't help but laugh every time he was on screen because you could just see all the pleasure he was taking out of this newfound power that he got. Oh, it was just so good. But other than that, I feel like it could have done so much better. I mean, Parallax, I just couldn't take that thing seriously. It was like a cross between the shit demon from Dogma and an amoeba. And there were so many different subplots, each one with a different tone, that it almost started to feel like a soap opera. I feel like they could have played up the cheese factor and left out a lot of the drama part of it, and it would have been a lot more effective. Overall, I can't say I didn't enjoy Green Lantern, but there were a lot of misses and it kind of just fell flat in the end. If you're going to see this movie, skip the 3D and keep your expectations low and you'll probably enjoy it. I give this movie a 2 out of 4 stars.